let every heart prepare him room and heaven in a nature sing and heaven in a nature sing and heaven in heaven nature sing joy to the earth the savior rings let me in their songs in flow sounding joy repeat the sounding joy repeat repeat the sounding joy he rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nation free the glory joy to the world. Oh, Heavenly Father, I feel your children have assembled themselves in the house of prayer one more time, uh -huh. saying thank you. thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, you brought us from January 2023 to December 2023, uh -huh. the 24th day saying thank you. Thank you Lord. A lot of them started on this journey with us didn't make it, oh Heavenly Father. Yeah, right. Oh Heavenly Father, we just say thank you for letting our golden moments roll on just a little while longer. Thank you, Lord. Oh Heavenly Father, was nothing we did that was so great. Yes, sir. It was just your mercy and grace that brought us this far. Uh -huh. yes, and we say thank you. Thank you Lord. Oh Heavenly Father, we can look back over the hills and the mountains and the valleys that you brought us from. Oh, Heavenly Father, we hadn't did everything you told us to do. That's right. Oh, Heavenly Father, we backslid. Right. But, oh, Heavenly Father, with this old flesh we in on this side. Yeah. We can't help it, oh, Heavenly Father. But, oh, Heavenly Father, I'm down here on my knees. Yes, sir. Calling upon your name, saying, forgive me, Father. Right. Forgive me of my sins. Yes, Lord. My sinful thoughts yeah. and my trespasses uh -huh. against somebody else. Yeah. Oh, Heavenly Father, look around my heart and my mind and clean it up, Jesus, from the inside out. Oh, Heavenly Father, I need a great cleansing. Oh, Heavenly Father, I need you this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, but most of all, I want to thank you for last night lying down. Then, oh, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for my early, early, early rising this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, you touched this old body of mine with a Finger of love, and I rose on due time. My when I rose this morning, my legs and my arm was in working condition. I was able to speak and say thank you, Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, I was able to go out to my breakfast table and find me something to eat. Oh, Heavenly Father, I had a roof over my head. Oh, Heavenly Father, that somebody that didn't have nothing to eat this morning, that somebody that didn't have a roof over their head. But, oh, Heavenly Father, send somebody their way. Oh, Heavenly Father, send one of your Christians their way. Oh, Heavenly Father, we're calling on you this morning. We're calling on you, Jesus. We're saying thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the burdens and the misery that we went through. Oh, Heavenly Father, we're saying thank you, Jesus, for loving me. We're saying thank you, Jesus, for healing me. We say, and thank you, Jesus, 
saying, thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. We say, thank you, Jesus. Saying, thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the things that you've done for me. Oh, Heavenly Father, we say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for wiping the tears away from my eyes. We say, thank you, Jesus, for keeping my enemies so close to me. We say, thank you, Jesus, for my family doing fine. We say, thank you, Jesus, for all the many blessings that you restored upon us. Oh, Heavenly Father, go into the hospitals. Go into the nursing homes. Because there's somebody, somebody that's laying on a bed of affliction. There's somebody can't even call your name this morning. There's somebody that's on a ventilator, Jesus. Bless them in a mighty way. Oh, Heavenly Father, bereave family. Bless them in a mighty way. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless this man that you planted in this vineyard. Bless him and his family in a mighty way. Oh, Heavenly Father, go all around Statham, Georgia. Go all around Athens, Georgia. Go all around Winder, Georgia. Because there's somebody, somebody standing in the need of a prayer. I'm calling on you, Lord Jesus. I'm calling on you this morning because I'm standing in the word of prayer. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord Jesus. I need you in a mighty way. Oh, Heavenly Father, because you just keep on blessing me. I never will forget it, Jesus. And I ain't going to try to forget it for what you did for me. Oh, Heavenly Father, I can go back to 2020 when I was laying on a ventilator. You brought this old post hole back again. And here I am down on my knees. 2023, calling on your name. Saying, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for saving me. I can't thank you enough. Huh. Oh, Lord, I can't thank you enough, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, wow, Lord, thank you, Jesus. When I come down to the end of my journey on this side, please, Lord Jesus, save me a home. Somewhere in your kingdom where I can uplift your name more better than I'm doing down here. I ask for these blessings in your son Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. 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 And thank God. Amen. There's a lily in the valley, you know it shines bright in the morning star. Oh, 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 lily, yes it is, bright in the morning star. Oh, 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 lily in the valley.
Say amen again. Amen. Now give God a big hand clap of praise. Amen. The Lord that we serve is worthy of all our praise. Yes, amen. And I was listening as they were singing the song. He said, say it one more time. How great is our God. Yes. But I don't care how many times you say it. Yes. Amen. He's greater than that. Yes. Amen. 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 He's a great God. Amen. amen. And the thing I like about him is he's not only good to me, but he's good to everybody else too. Amen. You know, there are some people that are good to certain folk. And certain folk, they won't even, won't even smile, won't even shake their hand, won't even say nothing to them. But the God that I serve, he's just as good to me as he is to you. Amen. He, don't, he, don't, he ain't got no respect to person. Amen. So we thank God for this day. We thank him for this hour. Amen. God is certainly good. For this time of last year. Yes. Amen. It was so cold. Yes. Amen. Pipes were busted. Yes, sir. Amen. And this time this year. Yes. Amen. You didn't even have to put a coat on to go outside. Yes. Especially if you weren't going to stay out there alone. Yes. Amen. But we thank God for you. We thank God for each and every one of you. Yes. Amen. We thank God for our visitors. Amen. If it's your first time being here. Amen. We ask that you would stand. Amen. If it's your first time being here at Bible Street. Amen. 
Amen. We thank God for everyone that's here. Amen. It's just a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. It's something about this time of year. Amen. There used to be a time when Christmas come. Amen. It felt like Christmas. Amen. It don't feel like Christmas like it used to. Amen. You could go in the house and see a big old, uh, you know, a big box over here with, with apples in it and a big box over there with, with, you know, with oranges in it. Amen. And another box with some peppermint candy in it. And you couldn't wait to put them three together. Amen. But now if you buy a bag of apples, amen, you won't even eat them up. Amen. They'll go bad on you. Have to throw them away. Amen. But when I was coming up, didn't, amen, we had the apple down to the core. Amen. If you wasn't careful, we'd eat the corn and spit out the seeds. Amen. But God is good. Has brought us from a mighty long way. Amen. Those of you who are laughing, y'all remember it. That's why you're laughing. Amen. Eat the corn too. Amen. But God is good. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. The, the weatherman says it's going to be raining tomorrow. Amen. But I still believe Sandy Claus going to show up. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask that Reverend. Uh, J.R. Walters would come and do our pulpit services at this time. Amen. Come on, Reverend Walters. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Let's give God a nice hand clap and applause because it's not about us. It's all about the Son of Jesus. Amen. We're going to ask uh, Reverend uh, Wilkins to come and give us a scripture. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Barbara Creek. Good morning. <laughs> hey, we can rather celebrate, they say Christmas, but we celebrating Christ. <laughs> Sometimes we forget who birthday it is. All right. But it's all well and good because he don't forget us. We're going to come from uh, Psalm 91, 1 through 5. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, right. my God. In him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and follow the nourished pastures. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Yes. And under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrows that flies by day. A word from God for God's people. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Welcome for that uh, scripture. Let us pray. Father God, Father God, it's one more time we come to you, Father God. Yes. Father God, we come with a humble heart, Father God. Yes. Father God, we th come thanking you, Father God, for so many things, Father God. If we had a thousand tongues, Father God, we couldn't name them all. Yes. Father God, we thank you for the little thing as well as the large. We thank you for the sunshine as the rain. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for being who you are. Father God, you are our Lord, you are King, you are Savior, Father God. There's no other God before you, Father God. You are precious in our sight, Father God. And we want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you for being in our life, Father God. Father God, we ask you to bless this little church, Father God. Blessing each and every one who came out today, Father God. For they're your children, Father God. And I know you got a fence of protection around them. Father God, we thank you, Father God. Thank you for our pastor, Father God. Thank you for his family, Father God, his wife, his children. Father God, we love you today, Father God. Father God, knowing it's not about us. It's all about you, Father God. But most of all, oh Lord, we thank you for being who you are. You are our Savior. Oh, God, you are our Savior, and we thank you for it. Father God, when I can't pray no more down here. Father God, when I can't sing songs to you down here no more. 
Give us a home somewhere, Lord. Somewhere we can praise the name just a little bit better, Father God. This is all prayers we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Forever and ever I pray. Amen. It's tired and off from time. Come on, Dick.
Associates Foundation announcements for the Christmas card. He is still found by those who seek him. May his presence abide with you today and in the new year. Have a blessed Christmas from Joanne and family. No watch night service this year. We will have one service on Sunday morning, and we will see you first Sunday in the new year at 9.30 for Sunday school and 11 o'clock for regular service. And we thank God that Reverend David came through his eye surgery well. Amen. Amen. Or asking everybody to pray for our sick and shut in everywhere. Are there any announcements? Any announcements? Any other announcements? Thank you. And have a blessed day and a wonderful Christmas. I want to wish everyone here a very, very special Merry Christmas. This is my special time of year. I, I remember as a child I, how I, I used to sit, my sisters and I, we would cover up our heads and wait for Santa Claus. But you know, we never did see him come. <laughs> uh, we, we waited and waited, and we never did see Santa Claus show up. But we saw our parents show up. They, they were snooping around the house. But anyway, Merry Christmas to you, Bobbitt's Creek. Merry Christmas. We're going to have another a song by our choir. After that, you hear from our pastor, Jerry David. Amen? Amen. Ain't he good? Anybody need the Lord? Yes. Well, I'm calling on your name because I need you, Lord. Right now, Lord. Well, I'm calling on your name because I need you, Lord. Right now, Lord. Well, sometimes I get tired and sometimes I get weak and that's why I'm calling. Right now, Lord. Well, I'm praying on this song right now because I need you, Lord. Right now, Lord. Well, I'm praying on this prayer right now because I need you, Lord. Right now, Lord. Well, summertime I way get dark and, and summertime I way get hard and that's why I'm calling your name because I need you. Right now, Lord. Well, I'm singing on this song right now because I need you, Lord.
said, Lord, whatever you're doing to see them, don't do it without me. Giving God. Yes. One more time, He has brought us down to the season which we claim to be Christmas. Yes. It's a time which we celebrate for your birthday. Yes. That you came to this side yes. to save sinners like us. Yes. And for that, Master, we just want to say thank you. But, Master, since we're so close to that day, yes. not knowing if we're going to make it or not. But we're going to hold on to your unchanging hand. Yes, yes. Master, we ask that I will look down on your, on your people. Yes. Seem like since COVID, the numbers have gone down. Yes. But your love hasn't ceased. Yes. And for that, Master, we say thank you. Thank you Master, we ask that I would just look down upon us and forgive us for our sin. Yes. For all of us have sinned and come short of your grace and of your mercy. Master, I'm standing before your people as a bad child before a just parent. Standing as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. Master, I ask that thou will fill me up with your Holy Spirit. Give me words of wisdom, words of understanding, words of love. That I might say something that might help someone. And if I can't help nobody, Master, allow me to help myself. Master, we ask that thou will speak for your people do hear. Take this voice of mine, Master, and use it for the best of your ability. Then, Master, when we come to the close of this day, we ask that thou be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We 
thank God for this day. We thank him for this hour. We thank each and every one of you. We had surgery on our eyes, and, and I thought I'd be able to see a whole lot better. Amen. Still got to put my glasses on. Amen. Amen. But what they done, they did laser surgery. I had a hole in my cornea, and they had to close it up. Amen. He said I could have left it like it was, but they would have to operate later. So it's best to get it done now. So Amen. we thank God. Amen. And it left me with floaters. I see things just floating down out of one side of my face, but God is still good. And we're going to attempt to combine two books of the Bible, one out of the old and one out of the new. Out of the Old Testament, the book, the seventh book of the Bible, which is commonly called Judges, out of that 16th chapter and the 20th verse, you find these words recorded. Amen. Judges 16 and 7, and she, being Delilah, said to said the Philistines upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself, and I will. And he will. And he went out. And we, he, whoo, eyes ain't doing it now. <laughs> and he went not that the Lord had departed from him. Amen. <clears throat> And out of the book of St. Luke, the second chapter, and the 10th verse, Luke, second chapter and the 10th verse, amen. And it reads as this, <clears throat> and the angel of the Lord said unto them, fear not, for behold, I bring thee good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and he shall be, and it shall be a sign unto ye. Amen. May God have a blessing to the readers and the hearers of his words. If the Master's will <clears throat> and the Holy Ghost will guide me, we want to talk from this subject. I'll be home for Christmas. Amen. I'll be home for Christmas. Amen. <clears throat> I'm reminded of, uh, there was a song that came out some years ago that said, I'll be home for Christmas. And just a few days ago, I, I was hearing it and, and I listened to it three or four times so I could really get the understanding of what was going on. And and as I listened to the song, he said something about I would be home for Christmas. You can count on me. And then when he said, at the end of the song, he said something that sort of puzzled me. He said, I, when he was saying he'll be home for Christmas, even if it's in my dreams. And when he said that, it, it bothered me. I thought about it for a while. I said, why would he say, you can count on me being home for Christmas? And then at the end, he would say, if only in my dreams. And it, and it come to my mind that he was singing a song from a far distance from home. He didn't say where he was, but he could have been in the military, could have been incarcerated, could have been in some hospital. Boy, he could have been anywhere, but he was determined to be home. All right. He never said that he would be there in person. But he simply said, I'll be home for Christmas. Amen. Sometimes you can't get to the place you want to be. But that's where our imagination can take part. Amen. It can put us anywhere we want to be. Amen. We can be on the job and, you know, and having catching hell on the job. Amen. But we can go in our secret closet in our mind yes. and find the place of peace. Amen. So I imagine the young man that would make song his song that wrote the song, he was in a desert place, a place where he couldn't get home. 
But he said, you can count on me. I'm going to be home. I might not be where you are, but I'm going to be home. And that's the way I feel about heaven. I'm going home. Amen. And every now and then down here in this hellish world, I have to go to a secret place and say, I'm going to be in heaven one day. And I got my mind made up. I'm going to where Jesus is. With all the hell that I raised and all the hell that you raised, you still can go to heaven. For when we say our prayers, amen, we say, you know, that uh, the, the model prayer that Jesus gave said on, that heaven right here on earth. Right. Amen. We can have heaven on earth yes. no matter what we are going through because there's a place in our mind yes. that we can always go to. Amen. I'm reminded of when I was young, I used to stay with Joanne, my stepmom, which I called my mom. Amen. And she was my mom. Amen. But she wasn't my mom. You know, she didn't bear me, but she was still my mother. And when I would get in trouble after I had left her house and I was be somewhere that I didn't want to be at, in my mind, I would always go to the front porch on her house. And I would, in my mind, I was, that was the place that I could find peace was on that front porch. And, and, and even to the day, sometimes I, at night when I can't sleep, I go to that place. In my mind. Amen. You know, we ought to have a place that we can go to in our mind, that we can find solitude, that we can find peace. Yeah. Amen. It ought to be somewhere yeah. in our hearts that we can go to. Uh -huh. And you know, when I think about, you know, this man who the name was Samson. Samson was a man of God. He was the one that started, that God had chosen. Amen. To deliver his people. Amen. He was the first one that was chosen to deliver his people. Amen. He called a young man by the name of Samson. This man was a Nazarite from his mother's womb. Amen. And when his mother became pregnant with this Nazarite child, she was given some instruction of things that she, she shouldn't do. Amen. She said they told her that she shouldn't drink no strong drinks. Amen. And all these things that she shouldn't do because the child that she was bearing was going to be a Nazarite from his mother's womb. And to be a Nazarite means that you're going to be a special person, a child that's going to be born for the Lord. Amen. And to be a Nazarite, there were some things that you weren't supposed to do. There were three things that a Nazarite wasn't supposed to do. Samson wasn't supposed to cut his hair. He wasn't supposed to touch anything that was dead. And he wasn't supposed to take no strong drinks. Amen. And you know the thing about it, Samson was the strongest man that ever been born. But he had a weakness. Yes. And all of us have weaknesses also. Amen. And the Bible said that Samson's weakness was, he thought his weakness was his hair. Yes. But you see, when, he, when you read the scripture, you'll find out that Samson had made some big mistakes in his life. Amen. Because Samson found himself at a wedding one day. Yes. And you know what happens at weddings. They have strong drinks. Amen. So Samson was drinking at the wedding. And you know the story, if you know the story about Samson, when Samson was on his way going down the road, he saw, he saw a carcass on the side of the road. Yes. And he stuck his hand in this carcass and got out some honey out of the carcass. Amen. So he touched something that was dead. Amen. So if that didn't make Samson lose his strength, why would Samson feel like the strength was in his hair? Amen. Because there were three things that he shouldn't have done. And Samson find himself in the lap of a young lady by the name of Delilah. Amen. And it's strange how Delilah, she, she found Samson's weakness. She thought, she asked Samson, if you just tell me where your great strength lies. said, then, if you love me, you'll tell me. And the Bible says Samson lied to her two times. Amen. And she kept on asking Samson, saying, Samson, you said you love me. But you still keep lying to me. Won't tell me where your great strength lies. Right. And Samson, she worried Samson so much. Samson said, if you cut my hair, yes. I'll become weak as another man. Amen. And as, she, as Samson laid on her knee, yes. she called a man in to cut Samson's hair. Not only did he cut it, but he shaved Samson's head. Yes. And Samson got up when she told him, she said, the Philistines are upon you. Because every time she would tell, sell, Samson would tell her something, she would call in the Philistines upon him. Amen. And he would get up and just shake himself. And he would destroy the Philistines. Yes. 
But his, this last time when he got up, that wasn't, it wasn't because his hair was cut. Right. Because that wasn't where his great strength was. Right. His strength wasn't in his hair. Right. And sometimes we put our, all our bags, all, our, all of our goodies in one bag. Right. But you see, I, his strength wasn't in his hair. Right. You see, I don't know about nobody else, but my strength is not in what I do down here. Right. My strength is not in the money that I have. My strength don't come from the family that I have. Right. But my strength comes from the Lord. Amen. You see, Samson didn't realize when he got up the third time and shook himself. Yes. And said, I'll go out and do as I've done before. Yes. Amen. But he didn't realize that God had left him. Amen. And I stopped by to tell you, you can't do nothing if God leaves you. Right. Amen. I can't stand and preach God's word. Yes. Amen. If he walk away and leave me. Yes. Amen, because I can't do it by myself. Amen. So we got to understand where our great strength is. Amen. You see, sometimes we think our strength is in our finances. Amen. We feel like we got a good job, so I'm going to be all right. Amen. I can buy the biggest house up on the hill. Yes. Amen, I can drive the best of automobiles. Yes. And I can have a ball of money in my hand. Yes. And we feel like we got great strength because everybody is looking up to us. But I stopped by to tell you, if God walk away from you, you ain't got nothing left. Amen. He'll lay you down on a bed of affliction. Amen. With all the money you have, that big house on top of the hill, that fine car that you have. Amen. I stopped by to tell you, somebody else will live in that house. Somebody else will drive that car. Amen. Somebody else will spend that money. Amen. You better believe that God has all power. Amen. I don't have nothing if I don't have God. I, I'm about to tell you, we're living in a season where it seems like we don't throw God in the ditch. Amen. We don't call him until we need him. I don't know about you, but I need him every day of my life. I need him when I'm up. And I sure enough need him when I'm down. Ain't God all right when I'm sick? I need Dr. Jesus. Every now and then, I run from one doctor to another doctor. But believe you me, I've already been in my closet and talked to Dr. Jesus because he's able to make ways out of no ways. Ain't God all right? I'm so glad I tried him a long time ago have you tried him don't fool me church have you really tried him is he all right is he all right if he's all right say yeah yes ain't he a way maker out of no way when your burdens press you down won't jesus pick you up ain't god all right I'm so glad I know the man. I'm so glad I tried him. We're living in a season we call Christmas. But you can't say Christmas without saying Christ. Ain't God all right? I'm so glad I saw a sign just a few days ago. It said, Mary. Christmas. Ain't God all right? He used his mother's name, then the son's name. I don't know about you, but everybody on this earth got an earthly father and got an earthly mother. But I know a man by the name of Jesus. He didn't have an earthly father, but he had an earthly mother. For the Bible says an angel came down to Mary and said to Mary, said, fear not. Say, you shall have a child. I heard Mary say, how can I have a child when I knew no man? The angel said, the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you, and you shall be with the child, and his name shall be called Wonderful. 
His name shall be called beautiful. His name shall be called Jesus. Ain't God all right? I don't know about you, but every now and then, I find myself calling on his name. It's something about the name of Jesus. It's something about his name. If you call him and call him right, won't he show up? Won't he make a way out of no way? Yes, the Bible says he was born in a manger. I don't know about you, but to tell me there was no room in the inn and that he was born in a stable and they laid him in a manger. But the story goes that wise men came to Jesus and they saw him, but he was a little child. But the first one that saw him, they were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over the animals by night. Ain't God all right? But the Bible said an angel appeared unto them and said, Fear not, for I bring you glad tidings of good joy. Ain't God all right? Said this night a child shall be born. They told him where to find him at. I heard him say, let us go to Judea and go to Bethlehem and see this great thing which have been told unto us. Ain't God all right? Ain't you glad when you was a baby? Your mama told you about Jesus. I don't know what happened. We're living in a time where we tell our children everything, but we don't tell them about a God who died on a rugged cross. We won't tell them about a God who brought us out when we didn't have anything. Ain't God all right? I'm so glad I know the man. I'm so glad I tried him. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't you glad you have made it another year? We don't have but a few more days in this year. A matter of fact, I believe it's eight more days and we'll be in a new year. We may be there and we may not make it. But I stop by to tell you, when I look back, from where I come, I tell God, thank you, because you brought me from a mighty long way, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes almost level to the ground. But I stop by to tell you, he never left me. He always was by my side. I couldn't see him, but I can feel him moving on the altar of my heart. Anybody here? Have you tried the man? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Say yeah! Say yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yes! He's a friend that'll stick closer than any brother. How do you know, David? He walked with me. Talk with me. He tell me that I'm his home. Yes, all I got to do is just hold on to his unchanging hand. He's in man's hand. They'll change, but my hand it stays the same. He's always reaching for us, picking us up, turning us around, placing our feet on the solid ground. Ain't God all right? Yes, he is all right. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. He's all right. Born on Christmas morning. Didn't have an earthly father. Had a stepdaddy by the name of Joseph who first wanted to get rid of him. But an angel talked to him as he slept and told him that thing was what Mary's bringing forth is going to bring a change upon the world. And I wonder sometimes, what kind of change will we bring? 
Will we do something great in our life? If we don't do nothing but help just one child as we come through, if we can change one person's life, turn them to Christ. Amen. We've done a whole lot. Amen. We might not move a nation, but we can help somebody as we go through this walk of life. We're living in a time now where we don't help people like we used to. We used to go to people's houses, help them clean up. Somebody was sick, we would work in, in their field and do the work that they, would, that they were supposed to be doing. But now we got all this technology. Won't even call one another. Amen. Won't come down to come down the dusty road. Amen. We used to come down the road riding in buggies and wagons and walking to church. But we would stop by somebody's house and say, are you going to church today? But we don't do that no more. We get in our fine cars, come down the road, see somebody on the side road, just keep on going. Amen. We won't pick people up no more. Because <coughs> we scared they're going to kidnap us, kill us or something. But I stopped by to tell you, you can't stay here. No man knows the day nor the hour. Nobody knows how you're going to leave. Amen. But the thing about it, I don't mind. I and don't mind and don't care how I leave. But I'm concerned about where I land. Right. Amen. I'm concerned about where after this life, where I land. I want to be what Jesus is. Wherever he is, that's where I want to be. And I made up in my mind. If I see somebody walking, I'm going to give them a ride. They get acting too crazy, I'm going to give them the door and let them get out too. I'm going to give them a ride. You got to have common sense. But you can't just be crazy. Amen. Amen. We're living in strange times. Amen. God is still Lord. Yes. And I found out no matter what goes on in my life, Amen. I got a secret place. Yes. And I can go to. I can go to Jesus. Amen. Amen. No matter where I'm at. That's right. And pray. Amen. I don't have to go down on my knees. That's right. Amen. Don't even have to close my eyes. Yes. I can talk to Jesus without even moving my lips. Amen. Because he knew, knows the thoughts of yes, every man. Yes, yes, And all you got to do is think about it. Yes. And he'll show up in your life. Yes, he will. You ever been going down the road and just think about Jesus and start laughing? Mm -hmm. Start smiling about amen. something that happened in your life. You know it yes. couldn't have been nobody but the Lord. That's right, amen. Amen. I, some years ago, I saw a guy was in a car riding down the road. Boy, he was dancing. up was an old white boy. He was doing it. I looked over at him and I started laughing. I said, Jesus must be in the car with him. Ain't no way he dancing. Amen. Because I didn't see no move that looked like a dance move to me. Amen. My God. Yes, We're going to stop right here. Open the doors of the church. Amen. Maybe there's one on this Christmas Eve that's willing to turn their life over to the Lord. You may already have your name on the roll of somebody's church. But that's not what's going to get you in. You got to have your name on the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. That's what it's got to be. But you can go up and down the streets and get your name on every church rolling and bust hell wide open. Amen. But if you got your name on that Lamb's Book of Life, yes. amen, that's the only thing that counts. Amen. This is a dressing up room down here. Amen. Amen. A place to get ready to go home to you. Lord, I want somewhere. Lord, I want somewhere. Lord, I want somewhere to lay my head. Oh, Lord. Somewhere, Lord, I want somewhere to lay my. 